Grove Farm was founded with the ideal to be a place of healing for horses and humans alike. And boy, we've grown so much since this whole thing started. This farm was built as a place for people to feel included, safe, and to feel hope. Um, I feel blessed and lucky to have started such a program and with the help and love and encouragement from others have seen it grow to what it is today. I started coming to Madison Grove Farm before it was Madison Grove Farm. I came out here to take riding lessons and Madison Grove Farm at that time was just uh, in its conceptual phase. So I've had the privilege of watching it grow and watching it become what it is today. And it has always been for me kind of a sanctuary, a uh, place to come to relax, to pet a horse and and no requirements. It's also a place to come and give back, which I enjoy doing. I work at Amazon and I received an email on the autism website. So a little bit about Jace. He has Asperger's syndrome, which is high functioning autism, but he's very into horses. So when I saw it, I was so excited. The day we were here, um, it was a very cute setup. Um, on the farm, we had arts and crafts. Jace was able to walk a mini. And he just loved it. He didn't want to leave. He wanted to live here. And so I just fell in love with it. And Marla offered that in the summer, Jason come every single Saturday. And so I was like, okay, Marla, I'm going to take you up on that. So every single Saturday we would come. And it was just like we were here and the outside world didn't matter. And Jace just really fell in love with all the horses. He memorized all their names. And just seeing Jace grow and the confidence that he built in such a short amount of time. And I think this is like his second home. He wants to go every week. I think it's just like a godsend for both of us. Madison Grove Farm has been a part of me pretty much my whole life and it's just amazing to see what this place and what these animals can do for people and change so many people's lives. So many of life's lessons can be learned right here on the farm. Cleaning a stall with a friend can teach you partnership and, and help you with your planning skills. We can learn that right here on the farm. We can learn respect and we learn a lot of patience because let's say the horses and the kids, they tell us how this day is going to go. Wouldn't you agree, honey? I do agree. The kids, when they come, they kind of help direct what they're going to do that day and what they're not going to. Sometimes they uh, figure out that what they don't think they're going to do, they end up doing. The farm has really changed my life for the better. I always knew that I wanted to become a vet and one of the biggest things that's really helped me achieve that goal is the farm. Uh, Marla helped me realized my goals and what I wanted to do with the rest of my life and she introduced me to Star and Star's quite legitimately changed my life and she's probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me. She's just the best horse I've ever met in my life and she's so sweet and understanding. She really appreciates me more than I think anybody really does. She gets me like nobody else does. She's like the most understanding thing I could ever ask for. I'm gonna miss it here a lot. This place really is a special place. Whether it's one of our sessions, one child, one horse, one leader for 90 minutes, whether it's a workday party on the farm, or just a volunteer here helping to clean stalls. Doesn't matter what kind of day, doesn't matter what you're doing. You can feel the love and peace simply by walking through that front gate. One of the things Jace has trouble with is his hands. So he's very sensitive about his hands and that's something we're working on. When Jace first got here, he was scared to touch the horses. He's a very cautious little boy. And just in maybe three weeks, he now lets the horses lick his hands. He pets them. He's not scared of them. He'll walk right up to them. And I've never seen Jace do that. I swear every Saturday he does something new that makes him more confident and it just, it just touches my heart so much to just see that this is just opening up his world. It's really satisfying 
to see kids that come to the farm, who they come here scared of stuff, all kinds of different issues, and yet once they, once they get here, they seem to forget about what they're afraid of, and they just start doing stuff without even thinking about it. The farm to me means a place of peace. I can come out here and relax and just um, let the cares of the world go away for a little bit. For my girls, Bella and Sadie, it's um, kind of like a, th it is a therapy for them. They have excellent role models. The girls that work here with them, I would like both of my girls to grow up to be like them, any one of them. Marla, what can I say about Marla? She is so loving and accepting. They come out here and they're accepted just the way they are. They learn about the farm, taking care of the animals, which is great, it teaches them responsibility. I don't like coming to the farm because um, I don't have a lot of friends, but at the farm, the horses are my friends. I like coming to the farm because I get to play with the animals and they get to be silly. When I'm at school, I don't get to be silly. I like to go to the farm because you can have really lots of fun with the horses, but there's also, you have to clean and work. And it's not so bad because you can have fun while you do it. I feel so blessed to have created a place where people want to be part of what's going on. And this farm definitely cannot happen by itself. It takes a village to run this place. And each and every person that's here to help means so much to me in this overall program. The people who are here are incredibly supportive and loving and it permeates the entire atmosphere of the farm. So many volunteers who find it in their heart to come here and to work with horses, with children. They do it from their heart. They do it because they believe in what we're doing. They believe in the farm and nobody's paid to be here. No child that comes to visit pays to be here. This farm is run exclusively by the community and those that want to help heal horses and children. One of my fondest memories is many years ago we were working in the vegetable garden and one of the young men who was here, he and I were working together and we were harvesting potatoes and he was so excited to pull a big old potato out of the dirt and his excitement was so refreshing and so rejuvenating it just filled me with new lust for life I guess. Jace is just so happy now it makes me so happy. This place is truly special and I feel so blessed to be a part of it and I can't thank everybody enough who helps us each and every day. It's just a totally accepting place, bringing the horses here that need help and kids here that need help. My hopes and dreams for the future of Madison Grove Farm is that we can continue to stay small enough to have the sense of community and you feel out here, yet grow enough to be able to serve more horses and more kids because there is a big need. There's a big world with a lot going on out there and we can help. We can help right here on the farm. If you ever want to find a place that really will like change your life and give you a second home, this place will give it to you. Everybody here knows what you're going through. Even if you don't know what you're going through, they can help you through any challenges that you may face through the hard times and the good times. And I think it's beautiful. This place is unique. We are one of a kind and we are open to everybody and anybody who wants to be here to help us with our work, love on horses and love on kids. give unconditional love, regardless of what situation they come from. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> what about all the hard work at the farm? Do you work at the farm? Poo! I like to clean the poo. That was Zadie, not me! Okay. Easy. Come on. The visit pay to be here either. Are you kidding? She'll cut that out, right? A little bit nicer and nicer with fences, and it's just easier. I have no idea. No, you're fine, honey. With our work, love on horses. This is like, yawn. Right here, I just checked. Wow.
I'm sorry, I'm sitting here going, I gotta fix that. I know, right? To talk to her today. My personal hope and wish. <laughs> Earthquake. Who's fighting it? Take two. Sarah. <laughs> when there's a goat eating a phone, not my favorite right now. Madison Grove Farm has been a part of, wait. We, we, <clears throat> cut. She, um, oh God. I'm gonna cry. Just put this together. Right She'll right. piece it down. <laughs> that was awesome. That she'll probably use, huh?